Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, I'm, I'm working on part three of the solved uh, video series. And, um, you know, I come across a lot of stuff while I'm making these videos, and then, but I don't have time to, well, track them down and all that, and, you know. But I wanted to show you just how um, obvious uh, what I'm showing you is actually something that should be definitely uh, more than considered by anybody that's in the field of science. And um, these aren't just some silly overlays and, uh, you know, stuff like that. This is actually um, important information about our planet that, that hasn't been considered. And what I want to show you is that there's everything on this planet, every feature on this planet is a reoccurring pattern. Everything, even the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the thing that they believe is uh, making seafloor spreading possible, and it makes the the whole theory of plate tectonics, you know, it's basically the heart and soul of it. But it really, in, in what I'm showing you, is really actually nothing more than just another reoccurring pattern. It actually has more to do with um, how Antarctica has traveled as the Earth has been created. But let me just show you that if I was wrong, uh, if any of this, it would be so easy to discredit. It would be a piece of cake, actually. And I wouldn't be doing these videos at all, believe that, if, if I was wrong. Because uh, it would I'd be shut down so quick. But that's not what has happened. What's happened is that you've got people that claimed I'm wrong and then got tired of trying to... Uh, not being able to prove that I'm wrong, they just leave, or I, either I block them because they're taking way too much of my time up and wasting it. But there's things on this planet that prove that these reoccurring patterns are exactly what I'm saying because, well, they line up like they would if they were reoccurring patterns like this. And then you see that line up, and if you're not like sure that this is something, well, then look closer. And it's when you look closer that things would fall apart if I'm wrong. But that's not what happens here. You can see that these areas play into each other. Even if they don't look identical to each other, there's still a recurring pattern of, of each other. Because look at the markings and the islands, the way they line it up. You can see that these two points here, well, I claim this arch means that this is, this is rotating in like a circular motion when it was moving. It's not moving anymore. These are just snapshots of the past of the creation of our planet when there was no planet. So you're going to see it spread around all over the place because this is what made the planet up. Th these are not the images of the planet. They're the process of the creation of it. And then what you got left over is the planet in the end. But you can see that I'm saying that this is swirling around in a circle. You can see that my alignments, they, they're they all of movement so that they, my proof is that they keep aligning over and over again. See, like that. See how they do that? That's just not some, uh, you know, side effect of uh, cloning tools because cloning tools is what you use when you're creating an image. This is not an image that's been created. This is a, this is a image supposedly of our planet. So there's no reason to have cloning tools <laughs> when you're when you're when you're using a, when basically they've colorized a, a satellite image of our planet and they've done it in such a way that it actually makes my job hard because the contrast that they use in the coloring it actually throws this whole thing off. It's it's one of my it's one of my things that I have to work through in order to show this. It, it makes it hard for me, but that's all it does is it makes it hard for me. And look at the alignment here. If you did this with your your own computer, you would see these alignments a thousand times easier because you know what you're looking at. You know what you you know what you want to see. I I don't know what you want to see. I'm just showing you what I see, and so therefore there's a little bit of a a disconnect in my descriptions, and you know for me to explain this, so 
It's, that's why I always ask people to do their own overlays. I don't ask them to do my own overlays because I'm fearful that, that I'd be proven wrong. I, I, I'm not even fearful of that at all because I'm not wrong. I just want people to see that, that with their own eyes that, that, that uh, plate tectonics is wrong because um, none of these alignments are described in theory of plate tectonics because according to them, they don't exist. Yeah, you can't you can't ignore reality. <laughs> you can pretend it doesn't exist, but someone like me is going to come along and show you that it does exist because here it is. Look, look at the alignment. It lines whether you get closer or further away. You can see that this a dead giveaway is the sizing here. You get the same distance here, then it goes down to the same angle right here with the markings. That's the other thing. Uh, I wanted to go over. Wow, man, this is now another video. Shoot. Well, you'll just have to see what I say in part three of solved because this will be in there too, I'm sure, or it'll be in one of the parts later. But look at the look at the alignments. It aligns over and over and over again. And I keep backing out so you can see that it not only does it line here, but it lines in other areas. See these right here? You can see how it plays into the, the markings. And it's very accurate. Look, this thing looks like a drill right here, a drill bit. Because it even has the, the, the diagonal marks like a drill bit would. And then it matches up with features too on the land. It, it cuts and it creates. Let's take a look at Italy because uh, Italy is, well, wouldn't you consider Italy a unique feature on this planet? Because I mean, it's it looks like a boot, but it's it's actually technically not unique because um, I can find its image over and over again. I can see what made it. I can see the <laughs> I can see it right here. I can see the marks coming off of it they're, because they're related. See how that works? And then you want to you want to get you want to. This is a mystery right here. The, these marks, all this stuff here on Africa. This is a mystery to science, but it's not a mystery. It's not a mystery to me because I can show you the things that made these features, everything, even the the uh, eye of the Sahara. I can show you the underlying processes, the image of them, of what created these features. Plate tectonics can't do that because there are plates underneath the ground. Therefore, this doesn't exist, but it does exist, and I'm showing you that it does. I. It's funny that I. Well. The people on my channel know know what I what I'm saying, but but you know when people first come to this and they see this, they're they're not going to believe it even though I'm showing it to them with their own eyes, because they're so used to being told what to think, that it's almost impossible for them to take their own what they see in as as something of value. They they have they have to re reference it back to what what play tectonics says. Or what you know the mainstream science says in order for them to feel like that they actually can agree with me, you know it's ridiculous. Just go ahead and see it line up, and then just say, "Hey, what do you know? Look, matches over here too. If I had a straight-on shot of Antarctica, you could actually see the rotation of it as it's flinging this through." And look at the alignments over and over again. Reoccurring pattern, reoccurring patterns. They're all reoccurring patterns of the same thing. They're just different depths. And that's why you get a gouge in one place and then you get an object in another. It's really easy. It's just impossible for me to, to um, get people to stop thinking like mainstream science has convinced them to think. And it's ridiculous, actually. Thanks for watching. There's a lot more stuff, believe that. Um, this is 
this is so intense that I'm really not sure about how I should go about through this whole thing. I wish I wish I knew what, what I should do, but I don't. So I'll just keep showing you guys incredible alignments that cannot be debunked or discredited by anybody really except for opinion. That's all it is, people's opinions. But anyways, thanks for watching.